Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And how long has it been since you've heard that? <laughs> welcome back, guys. What's up? Uh, it's time for another update video, and uh, this is for M4K 1.15. Uh, I'm running the 1.15.2 version, and uh, I've also got the uh, preview version of the shaders on. Thanks to uh, Lord Decker's video this morning. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, those that uh, are new to the channel, this is the M4K texture pack that I use in all my videos. And this is my pack, and I try to keep it very up to date. I uh, actually had this updated, uh, I think, probably about a little over a month ago, a month and a half ago, I updated it, and uh, I did not get a video done for it because things have just been super, super crazy. And, uh, so anyways, this is the texture pack. Nothing has changed surprisingly this time when I loaded it up. Everything worked perfectly. The only thing I had to do is uh, is change the number in the main file. Most of you don't know what that is, but basically it just changes the, uh, the kind of pack that gets read uh, when uh, Minecraft opens up. Uh, but anyways, everything else worked. All the textures were there. They didn't change any of the names. Nothing stupid. Uh, which was absolutely awesome. I think that's the first time in years that I've ever had a texture pack update that I didn't have to do nothing except for pretty much just load it in. Um, but yeah, for those that uh, have not tried this pack or seen me playing it, give it a whirl. Uh, everything is builder specific. Uh, so if you're doing anything in survival world, the only thing that I really have done for you guys are just your main, uh, your main ores here. And, and that's it. And you'll see a lot of uh, really weird, funky stuff while you're digging around uh, underground. I don't think there's any new blocks. I think the last new blocks we had was in 114. Oh, we got bees. Yeah, we do, yeah, we do have new, uh, some new blocks. Uh, we've got the dried kelp block. And again, these are untextured. Uh, so as you can see, Minecraft automatically pulls the default texture show. So you'll be fine on anything that's not covered by the pack. Uh, we've got bees nest, beehives. Uh, honey block and honeycomb block. Honeycomb, I like honeycomb. They're big, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we've got a bell. So yeah, those are the new blocks in 1.15. Uh, again, just like the uh, ones from 1.12, 1 3? <laughs> I can't remember. The ones where we got all the terracotta blocks, um, those are still untextured. Uh, I, just, I just never got back to do anything specific with those. Um, I figured we had enough kind of concrete looking blocks, gray blocks and stuff like that. Uh, so I didn't do nothing with those. As of right now, uh, like always, the, you know, the, the pack is the one thing that I always do try to keep updated around the channel. Even though I haven't made videos in a while, uh, I do at least try to get the pack running for you. Uh, and I know a lot of people are cooped up right now. And I really meant to get this video done uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that way, you know, everybody that's cooped up inside... Uh, I've got, you know, playing Minecraft and other games, but specifically Minecraft because that's what this works for. <laughs> I want to uh, get the uh, the pack updated for you guys uh, so that, you know, you could play with the uh, the new B update, I guess is what they're calling it. Um, so anyways, yeah, like I said, nothing else has changed. I'm just kind of flying through to give, uh, you know, our new viewers kind of a quick overview of how everything blends together and is used. Uh, again, nothing Nothing's changed. Nothing's been updated. God dang, them things got... F those things grow tall, don't they? What are those? Oh, bamboos. <laughs> I really gotta start playing again. <laughs> I don't know what half this shit is anymore. Uh, but yeah, everything else is fine. Uh, the, all the, uh, the double-sided blocks. Um, these are the sp specific ones that you can pick up and, um, and throw back down. So as you can see from the front, depending on which way you know, you're looking at it. Uh, will depend on you know what you see when you throw the block down and the same thing for the backs um, you'll have different ones uh, I don't know, dishwasher safe uh, cabinets uh, different ranges and a microwave uh, again for those that don't know how the pack works there are some reversible blocks here that you can use and uh, your pistons that's what your refrigerator is when you put them up uh, the sticky are these the stickies yeah these are the sticky pistons uh, so when you put the sticky pistons together on top of each other, well, one's a sticky pistons, one's a regular. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done this in a while. So you got uh, the regular piston on the bottom, and then the sticky piston on the top, and then that makes the refrigerator. 
Uh, we've got the traffic cone, uh, the tires. You know, so some of these textures are still borrow borrowed from uh, uh, Operation Realism texture pack that they put together a long, long time ago. Uh, I know they've done a lot of different updates with their packs, uh, but a lot of them are, are mine too. Uh, I've done uh, a lot of textures. Oh God, those didn't change over. I've got some new textures for these. Or did I do them? Oh yeah, the loom. Uh, have you guys seen these yet? Did I did I show you these? I can't remember. Uh, I think I might have added these on one four, uh, but the barrel, um, and then we had, oh yeah, yeah, the new interfaces. Yeah, sorry guys, I can't remember. I probably should have looked at one four before um, uh, I did this video, but I think I did because we got the uh, the scaffolding on the last ones. So I did the um, the compositor, the loom, the barrel. Uh, I uh, those are all my textures. Uh, I didn't get to any of these, but the uh, the uh, the GUIs or the uh, the GUIs inside. Shit, is it that one? Uh, anyways, when you open them up, <laughs> most of them are ready. You can you know you can go ahead and right click on them and uh, and open them up. I don't know which ones are. There we go. So you can see that the uh, uh, the inside GUI, I guess you call it, is uh, is complete. I believe they're all done except for maybe some of the villagers. And then the redstone, I still have not figured this out over the last couple updates. Um, I, I'm not sure where that texture pulls. Uh, it used to pull from the stone, and I think I, I don't think I went back in and uh, re uh, retyped it out in the uh, in the JSON file. Um, so I think that's the only reason why this is like this. Uh, but again, uh, I don't know how many people still use redstone, and if you do, I don't think the texture really matters. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that is the uh, the update for 1.15, and uh, yeah, hopefully everybody is uh, having a good time getting back into the game, getting things built uh, again. You know, doing the survivor thing or whatever you're doing. Uh, again, those that are new to the channel, yes, I'm taking a family break right now, and uh, hopefully get back to doing some Minecraft videos maybe over the summer. And uh, in in the meantime, I've got over a thousand videos that uh, pretty much anything you can want, mainly modern style. Uh, so I've got airfields and naval bases and, uh, you know, just all kinds of shit. Many, many, many tutorials <laughs> that you can look at. But, yeah, um, I'm, I'm done rambling. I just basically just want to say hey to everybody, let everybody know I'm doing good. And uh, the texture pack is updated and you can use it. So uh, just click the link down in the description and uh, you all have a great one. And uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.